Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use NinJam, the online jamming plugin in Reaper. So let's start with a new project. We'll create a track over here. We'll name it NinJam. Then we'll make another track underneath it. And here's where we're going to put our instrument. I'm going to play a piano, go into record, and set up my input. I'm using my MIDI, USB MIDI keyboard, and a virtual instrument plugin. Now, if you're doing audio, like a microphone, or plugging in your guitar or bass, or micing your drums, or even singing, you would set up your input over here as an analog input. But I'm using MIDI, so I'm using a USB MIDI keyboard. Then I'm going to add a virtual instrument plugin for piano. Right here, piano one. And then I'll play it to make sure it works. Then I'm going to make this track into a folder for this track. So our instruments are all below the folder track, and they're all sending their audio to it. So let's add the Ninjam plugin to this track. Go to Track Effects, and we'll choose under Reaper, the Rhea Ninjam plugin. And it should look like this. Now, if the console window isn't open, we can open it from here. And from here, we can add local channels if they're not set up automatically. Right here. Then we'll name this channel Piano or whatever instrument you're using. And this button right here is going to transmit our instrument to the NinJam server so everyone else can hear it. In fact, because of that, we could turn this off and play our piano. And only we are going to hear it. So it's a great way of testing out our part or finding the key before we start jamming with the other players. And then turn it on when we're ready. And this section over here only adjusts our monitoring. It doesn't affect what the other players are hearing. It's just for us. We could adjust the master volume over here and the metronome volume over here, along with the panning, the mute, and even so. And once we connect with our server, we're going to see the other players over here. Now, if we want to record what we play, we can go to the file menu and choose preferences. And make sure we select Save Multitrack Recordings for Remixing Later. And we can choose the path where it's saved right down here. So now let's hit the Connect button to search for servers. And they show up right here. And we can see with these numbers how many slots are available and how many players are in that room or on that server. This one has seven out of eight. 6 out of 8. Let's join this one, which is playing at a tempo of 100 beats per minute with 8 beats or 2 bars of counting, or latency, which I'll explain in a bit. So let's sign in right here and connect right here. We'll accept the license agreement and we'll hear the click track playing right away. And when it plays through eight beats, we'll hear the other players playing. So let me explain latency. Latency in NinJam is measured in measures or beats. In this case, it's eight beats. And that's what makes it interesting. It records and then streams synchronized passes of music between players. Just as our pass finishes recording, it begins playing on everyone else's system. So when you play through a pass, you're playing along with the previous pass of everybody else. And they're playing along with your previous pass. It sounds weird, but it does work for jamming. As long as everyone is playing loop-based progressions. So let's turn this off so you can find the key that everyone's playing. Let's turn transmit back on so they could hear us.
And right down here, we could chat with the other players. And adjust the mix up here. So that's pretty much it. That's Ninjam, the online jamming plugin in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time.